The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Start this problem by changing the minus 3 to plus a negative 3. To find the common denominator, notice that we must factor y squared minus 3y minus 10 as y minus 5 times y plus 2. So we have 5 over y plus 2 equals 13 over y minus 5 times y plus 2 plus negative 3 over y minus 5. You can see that our common denominator is y minus 5 times y plus 2. So we multiply both sides of the equation by this common denominator. On the left, the y plus 2's cancel, so we have 5 times parentheses y minus 5. On the right, in the first fraction, the denominator cancels out entirely, so we have 13. And in the second fraction, the y minus 5's cancel, so we have minus 3 times parentheses y plus 2. Distributing through the parentheses, we have 5y minus 25 equals 13 minus 3y minus 6. And solving from here, we find that y equals 4. Notice that back in the original problem, the variable y appears in the denominators. In this situation, we must plug our answer of 4 back in for all the y's in the original equation to see if it makes any of these denominators equal 0. If it does make a denominator equal to 0, then 4 cannot be a solution to the equation, so the answer would be the null set. Fortunately, in this problem, it does not make any of the denominators equal to 0, so 4 is an acceptable answer. Remember, always check to see if your answer makes any of the denominators equal to zero for every problem in this section.